Hello and welcome to TutorTube, where the Learning Center's lead tutors help you understand challenging course concepts with easy to understand videos. My name is Grace, lead tutor for audiology and speech language pathology. In today's video, we will explore pure tone audiometry. Let's get started. The purpose of pure tone audiometry is to determine the degree, type, and configuration of an individual's hearing loss. Let's look into this further. Air conduction audiometry, or air conduction testing, is testing the ability of the outer and middle ear. If a loss is detected, then that means there might be a problem with the patient's outer or middle ear. Bone conduction audiometry is testing the ability of the inner ear, and if a loss is detected here, then it could be an issue with the patient's inner ear system. You can see the sections of the ear in Figure 1. Mass testing involves playing noise into the better hearing ear, so the other ear which is being tested isn't influenced by the stimulus. Unmasked testing is basic testing, where the stimulus is played into an ear to test the hearing of that ear. An audiogram shows the results of pure tone audiometry, and an example can be seen on the right side of the screen in figure 2. But what do all these symbols mean? If we look at this audiogram key, we can see the breakdown of all these symbols. The right ear is always represented by red and the left ear blue. A circle represents unmasked air conduction testing in the right ear, and an X represents unmasked air conduction testing in the left ear, and so on. Now that we have learned how to read an audiogram, let's discuss how to interpret the data. Figure 4 is a chart from ASHA that breaks down degrees of hearing loss, or HL. Negative 10 to 15 dBHL falls under normal hearing. 16 to 25 dBHL represents a slight hearing loss, although some organizations include 16 to 25 dBHL in normal hearing. 26 to 40 dBHL is a mild loss, 41 to 55 dBHL is a moderate loss, 56 to 70 dBHL is a moderately severe loss, 71 to 90 dBHL is a severe loss, and 91 plus dBHL is a profound hearing loss. You can also see this breakdown represented in Figure 5. You can determine type of hearing loss from an audiogram. An airbone gap is a telltale sign of a conductive hearing loss. For a conductive loss, this means there is hearing loss for air conduction, but normal hearing for bone conduction, like pictured here in Figure 6. A sensory neural hearing loss is characterized by a hearing loss in air conduction as well as bone conduction. The losses have to be within 10 dB of each other. You can see this displayed here in Figure 7. A mixed hearing loss is characterized by a loss in both air conduction and bone conduction with the air conduction loss being greater than the bone conduction. An air gap is present. You can see these characteristics in figure 8. All audiograms have a specific configuration or shape. You can see here in figure 9 the most common configurations. Flat, sloping, rising, noise notched, U-shaped, also known as cookie bite, reverse U-shaped, and high frequency. Let's use the concepts we've just covered to interpret this audiogram. Since the graph is in blue, we know that represents the left ear. A right pointing arrow represents unmasked bone conduction testing. We can see here that bone conduction is well within normal hearing limits of negative 10 dBHL to 15 dBHL. The X represents unmasked air conduction, and we can definitely see a loss here. We know from previous slides that a normal bone conduction and a loss of air conduction with an air bone gap represents a conductive loss. A moderate hearing loss is from 41 dBHL to 55 dBHL, and a moderately severe hearing loss is from 56 dBHL to 70 dBHL. Since the loss has measurements in both moderate and moderately severe, measuring from 45 dBHL to 60 dBHL, then it is categorized as such. This graph represents a moderate to moderately severe conductive hearing loss in the left ear. Determining the configuration of this audiogram could be tricky. Some people might think it is sloping because the final measurement is below the initial measurement. However, since the final measurement is within 10 dB of the original, it is categorized as a flat configuration. We were able to determine the degree, type, and configuration of this audiogram using the concepts we've covered. This audiogram represents a moderate to moderately severe conductive hearing loss in the left ear with a flat configuration. These are my references for the graphics used in this presentation. Thank you for watching TutorTube. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to our channel for more exciting videos. Check out the links in the description below for more information about the Learning Center and follow us on social media.
See you next time.